demon possession, debauchery, degradation, idolatry, loose morals, being a prisoner, being poor out and shameful. Hmm. Why would anyone, friends, want to be in a attire that the Bible associates with sin? God is speaking to somebody today. God is speaking to someone. Somebody's going to go too far today. I pray to God that today you hear his word that you will not harden your hearts. There are health benefits. God is not just saying these things to make us feel bad. He's not trying to take away. He's not a kill joy, friends. We're talking about a message of love. This is the message of love, friend. God the Father. And we, his children. He knows the best thing for men. He knows the best attire for men that will cause men to be protected from the element. And there's a health lesson associated with wearing God's attire. And we see here, I read an article, and it's called Review and Error. And I read the issue from May 1st, 1872, paragraph 11, and this is what it says. We recommend to our sisters a reform dress that is in accordance with the laws of health, and which is becoming. We inquire why should not women clothe their limbs as thoroughly as men do theirs? Health and comfort are objects of sufficient importance to make a trial to gain. Artificial decorations can never take the place of natural beauty and health. In part, it goes on to say that we object to the popular style of women's dress because it is neither helpful nor convenient. The skirts generally rest upon the hips, which were not designed to sustain weight. Every article of clothing should be suspended from the shoulders. The habit of fastening the skirt about the body with bands, you know, a lot of times that uh, back in when, when they used to make these uh, corvettes, they're called that women, the style of the day was that they would make these corvettes and they would pull it so tight so that a woman's waist would, would look, uh, would look uh, very small and was supposed to add to her appeal or, or something to that effect. And, 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 and uh, inspiration has given us warning against wearing anything that is too tight. The habit of fashion the skirts about the body with bands allowing the weight to rest upon the hip is to keep to keep them from flipping off is decidedly injurious to health. For exactly where these bands skirts are what friends? Nerves. Are nerves and what? Large blood vessels. Which carry the blood into the limb. Now friends, if we're gonna wear these things and we're gonna uh, um, they're so tight that they are preventing uh, the blood to go to all the limbs. We know that the life of the blood is in the flesh. The life of the blood is in the flesh. We cannot allow <coughs> the nerves and the blood vessels to be, um, to be strained or to, be, um, um, to, to constrict them in such a way that will prevent this, this is our blood flow from going through the entire body. These veins and nerves should not be pressed but allow the most perfect freedom to fulfill a purpose for which nature has designed them. The clothing should be worn so loose as to give the most perfect freedom of circulation, respiration, and the exercise of every portion of the body. The devil has introduced a style of dress that is causing men to become sick. And God is trying to cause us, friends, to be healthy. And God is telling us exactly what to wear, but we are fighting and we are refusing with every strength of our being uh, going against God. Not much. Who are we going to serve, friends? If God be God's servant, why are we allowing the devil with these perverted minds, these, these homosexuals who are introduced in all these fashions, why are we allowing the devil to dress us? <laughs> we have a choice to make, friends. And the choices that we make will determine where we spend eternally. Notice what it says. The same article. In order to enjoy a good state of health, there must be a proper circulation of blood. In order to enjoy a good state of health, there must be a proper circulation of blood. And to secure a good circulation of the current of human life, all parts of the body must be what? Suitably clean. How many parts, friends? All. All parts. Every single part of your body must be suitable clad. The heart labors to throw the blood to the extremities, but it is chilled back from them in consequence of, of 
they're being exposed to the cold. Now, you understand what's going on here? He said that all parts of the body must be suitable to that. Now, those parts that are exposed, it says here that the heart labors to throw the blood to the extremity. The heart is working hard so that the blood can be pumped to all parts of the body. But because they are exposed and they're not properly covered, they become chilled back in consequence of them being exposed to cold for want of being suitably closed. And the abundance of clothing about the chest where in the great wheel of life induces the blood to the lungs and, and brain and produces what? Congestion. Congestion. The limbs and feet have large arteries. The limbs and the feet. The limbs are these parts, friends. The limbs. All your limbs and feet, they got large arteries to receive large amounts of blood that warm nutrition, elasticity, and strength may be imparted to them. But when the blood is chilled from these extremities, their blood vessels what? Contract. Contract. Which makes the circulation of the necessary amount of blood in them still what? More difficult. It is important, friends, that we are completely clad and properly clad because when we are not dressed proper, we see here that the blood vessels contract. Now, we can understand why some people walk around and they get, you know some folks that their legs get so black because of poor circulation. There's no blood going to their legs. And their legs start getting very dark and their foot start getting dark and they start having problems in, in, in their arms and, and numbness in their fingers because the, 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 the blood vessels are, 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 are contracted and the blood is not flowing through their body because we're not properly clad. Because we are lowering our hands to be exposed. We are lowering our, our legs to be exposed. And we are wearing the dress of this world that is not helpful, not for our spiritual nor for our mental well-being. Good circulation preserves the blood cure and secures health. Circulation leads the blood to become impure and induces congestion of the brain and lungs and cause the diseases of the head. Notice the result of not wearing the proper dress dress. It says here that it causes diseases of the head, the heart, the liver, and the lungs. Mm. The fashionable style of women's dress is one of the greatest cause of all these terrible diseases. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Who are we going to heed, friends? The spirits of this world? Mm. The perverted designers of this world who are mostly homosexuals that are fueled by the devil himself in creating all these different fashions that is not suitable, that is not healthy, and it does not add to our spiritual well-being. We have a choice to make. God has presented to us. When he made man, the attire that God gave man was a coat. The coat covers man completely. The arms are covered, completely covered. Your chest is completely covered. Your legs are completely covered. This is the dress that God has for man. And many of us, when we talk about crucibles, we talk about bearing the cross. This is no cross, friends. There's a blessing in wearing something like this. Amen. There's a blessing in store. Many of us feel as if that we're old people and we're going to live old. And you're going to hold me up. And I'm young and I'm fresh. And I got all this good skin and all this different assets. And I need to flaunt and then and no friends. God is calling men back to Christianity, to righteousness and to godliness. Amen. The way that we are dressing for him because we have looked away from God. We have been looking toward the world so much that we have become so desensitized and so conditioned to social blackness that we can walk around in these, these attire and feel no type of way about it. Have mercy. The heresies of yesterday, friends, have become today's accepted practice. Now we are calling good evil. And we're calling evil good because we don't know no better. Because we've been looking away from God, friends. You know that around 50, 60 years ago, not one evangelical, not one um, Christian, friends, would wear anything that would look like this. True. Every single evangelical Christian, friends, whether you're a Baptist, Methodist, Seventh-day Adventist, whether you're a Presbyterian or whether you're a Catholic, friends, every single Christian would dress cover their entire nakedness. Now one individual, friend, those 